to our panelists and to our viewers. Good morning. My name is Jillian Tanda and I will be the presenter of our group. Okay, so before we proceed to our proper presentation of our project, allow me to introduce to you first our project team. So the capstone project advisor of this team is Dr. Mark Van Ambaladako. Project manager of our team is Real Jen De Jesus. The systems analyst is Earl Jane Mandelvan and yours truly. Juliette Adle, the system designer of this project. So the title of our um, project is Design of an e-learning management system for Kaza National High School with student behavior tracking. During the COVID-19, we come up to this idea to um, propose an information an information system to Kaz National High School as we got or as we conducted our uh, environmental scanning to their um, school or to their organization. So our post e-learning management system provides an integrated platform for distributing materi learning materials, monitoring um, students' academic performance, tracking students' behavior, accessing grades, and class management, as well as accessibility to a variety of users, including teachers, learners, and parents for remote learning. For the company overview, uh, we choose Kaza National High School as our um, project sponsor. So the Kaza National High School is a public educational institution located in Barangay Kazon. Penabo City, Davao del Norte, and it is headed by Mr. Gabriel S. Alfonso, the principal too. So Kaza National High School was founded in the year 2008. And last year, 2021, um, 546 total students were currently enrolled and 16 classroom teachers. Um, there is also one school guard and two utility and also the Kaza National High School offers automotive strand for senior high school department. As we conducted our environmental scanning, we found out that the Kaza National High School encountered these different problems. First is uh, parents or guardians struggle in claiming modules and report cards. Also, the parents and teachers pressure in monitoring the students. Also, if, uh, there are human errors because they only do manual in their processes of claiming and submitting the modules or learning materials to the students. Handling late submissions of the students and no proper quizzes, it is because um, they only use uh, modules in learning. Students' unnecessary behavior also and struggle in viewing announcements. So for the objectives of the project, first we uh, is to develop a system architecture for Kaza National High School by designing process models, data models, and object models. So next is to design a system that has a cap capability to work on various devices such as desktops, laptops, tablets, or mobile. To design a system that can monitor students' academic performance announcements and can easily communicate for every student, teacher, and parent. So overall, we um, aim to um, design an e-learning management system for Kaza National High School for them to help to enhance the process of their school. For the chapter two, the methodology. So this is um, the method that we use. We use a modified waterfall um, SDLC model. So first phase is our project planning. Then second phase will be the requirements. Then analysis and design for third phase. Fourth phase will be ex execution. Then testing for fifth phase and Sixth phase will be the, the deployment. A modified waterfall model handles planning in every in early stages and moves from one phase to the next after it is completed. 
So at the end of each phase, um, a review is conducted to determine was, whether or not to proceed to the next phase. So the proposed IS allows tracking student exercises through a camera device, and then the recording is analyzed by AI to recognize suspicious activities. A meeting can be a red flag or head flag for head development movements, light and sound level changes, window resize events, and more. So the system will likewise alarm the teachers and the students if it sees unauthorized people in the room or distinguishes things like books, cell phones, smartwatches, and so on. So as a result, such smart data-driven automation assists teachers with taking out human error and fundamentally incre incrementing the precision of assessment results at the same time, making the test take an interaction less nosy for the students. So this is the WBS for our proposed IS. So the WBS is based on our uh, modified waterfall model. So as we can see, there are six phases in the WBS. First is the requirements phase, then analysis, then the design phase, execution, testing, and deployment phase. So each phase has its sections and subsections. So uh, as you can see, this is the sections of each phase and subsections are subtasks of each phase. So for the budget allocation and schedule of the proposed IS, um, we come up to this budget allocation based on the WBS dictionary. So as um, in our WBS dictionary, there's different tasks and subtasks to be um, performed by this different manpower. The overall total for the budget of our proposed information system is 501,166. So for the cost and benefit description of our proposed IS, for the software, our operate, the operating system has a total price of 18,000 pesos for five years estimated only. And antivirus costing 1,190 pesos per year. For the telecommunication network worth 2,000 pesos per month. For Microsoft 360, Five worth 469 pesos per month. Domain for the domain name that we'll use for website publication worth 2,500 per year. For web hosting worth 2,100 pesos per month. And, and server worth 50,000 pesos. And for the hardware, LAN cable has a cost of 799 pesos. For computer worth 48,633 pesos. And for the mobile phone, phone has a value of 8,000 pesos. Okay, for the total cost of our post system is 501,166 pesos. Okay, for our chapter three, the results and discussion. This is the system requirements of our proposed information system. So the system requirements has functional requirements and then functional requirements. I'm going to show to you the user interface design of our proposed information system. So, so this is the registration um, screen or page of our LMS. Then this is the login page. Next is messages page. This is the teacher's profile. This is the um, dashboard of the teacher's account. This is the calendar um, page. The um, classes page. When the teacher clicks the science class, it proceeds here and it shows the learning materials here and the announcements of the teacher, the submissions, and students attended. Okay, if the teacher will click this add learning materials, it will proceed here. So there is a pop up page, and if the teacher will uh, click the set submission, then it will proceed here. If the teacher will click the category or select the category examination, it will proceed to this um, design. Then it will proceed here if the, if the teacher will click 
the the submission that he or she created and he or she can view the record of the student if the students already submitted their activities or their assignment. If the teacher will click view record button, it will proceed in this page. So as you can see, this is um, sample submissions for the list of students of the teacher. So this is our student behavior tracker feature of the system. This is the calculation for the grades, same as the teacher's profile, this is the learner's profile. This is the dashboard, the classes or enrolled classes of the students. This is the uh, science class of the students, the submissions. And if the student will take an exam, it will proceed here. So this is the examination of the student. There is a warning here based on the student behavior tracker feature. This is the attendance of the student. Okay, let's proceed to the UI design for parent user. So same as the student and the teacher, There, this is the UI design of the parent. This, this parent can monitor the academic performance of, this, of his or her students. For example, the parent Jane L. Sanford, he or she, uh, she can detect or can monitor the academic performance of her student, let's show, Sanford or she can view the announcements given by the or posted by the teacher and he or she can view the activities completed by the student. He or she can view the class performance or the grades of the, her student, also the class schedule and the submissions of her student. So for the chapter four, so for the conclusion, the project team designed an e-learning management system for Kaza National High School student behavior tracking that works on various devices. So as what I have showed to you, uh, the, that was the um, example um, design for desktop computer. Actually, we, already, we have also designed for tablet and for mobile phone also. So gives all students and educators simple access to courses announcements, grades, and schedules, and can easily communicate with different users. So we use also a support vector machine algorithm and AI computer vision technology to detect the student behavior while they are taking their examination or their assessment. Parents, user can monitor their students' academic performance. The teacher can also track the student's behavior as well while he or she she is taking the examination as what you have seen earlier in our UI design. We utilize a modified waterfall software development life cycle model upon conducting the project. And we created a system architecture for the proposed ELMS by designing process models, data models, and object models. And during our public sponsor presentation, we the, um, the teachers evaluated our design and it come up to 98.41% project sponsors overall satisfaction rate for our UI design. Okay, for the recommendation, during the presentation of the proposed information system to the Kaza National High School, the project sponsor recommends that the, that the data privacy agreement is a proposed information system must be included, particularly by capturing video while taking the assessments and filling the user's information. This will be a win-win um, benefit for both users and developers. Additionally, it has been suggested that users' information pages be kept to a minimum to, be, to avoid providing a lot of in personal information. This is to ensure that information will not be collected if the system is hacked. So categorizing also the handled classes of the teachers according to the grade level is suggested by the panel of reactors during our public forum presentation. So that teachers won't get confused in managing their respective classes. Furthermore, ELMS can be very helpful if it has a mobile um, application and offline access to content support. Finally, it is recommended to implement 
and develop the proposed information system design for the next batch of information technology students from the Valdel North State College. And for the development and implementation of the proposed ELMS, the project sponsor is looking forward to collaborating with the IT student. So that would be all for the presentation of our team. Thank you so much for listening and for viewing our presentation. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.